Okay guys, today I just want to talk about some of the health benefits of fat loss. Right. So firstly, remember, when you have increased insulin levels because you're eating a diet of refined carbohydrates, your brain at some point needs fuel. But if you've got increased insulin levels already that are trying to force glucose into cells that are resistant, it will be elevated for long periods of time. Okay? And when your brain gets to a point where it says, listen, I actually need fuel now. Can you please stop storing? Take some fuel out of storage. The insulin says, no, I need to get this blood sugar down or this guy's going to die. All right. And then you have no option but to eat. And then what happens is you become fat and in some cases obese. Now, when you become obese and you put on fat, that's a living mass of cells. It needs to be supported with a blood supply. Okay. But you actually can become fat at a faster rate than you can develop a blood supply for that fat. Now fat is a living mass, okay? It forms part of your immune system, it houses inflammatory chemicals. So if it doesn't have a blood supply, it dies. And that's a problem. So those cells will die, they will disintegrate and you will have this rush of inflammation, okay? In your bloodstream. It'll glycate with the circulating blood uh, cells and it will cause damage to arteries it becomes sticky it's not supposed to be like that so when you damage an artery okay you release cholesterol to stop internal bleeding okay so the fatter you get the more the fat dies the more uh, inflammatory chemicals you've got rushing around your bloodstream the more arterial damage the more cholesterol buildup all right now it gets worse you'll go and see the doctor okay your blood pressure is high because you get the seclusion of the arteries with the cholesterol builder. Doctor will put you on a beta blocker. Beta blocker, it does its job, but it's medication, all right? It has to be processed by the kidneys, which have to start working harder. So the blood pressure increases because the heart has to push the blood through the kidneys, okay? So it's a vicious circle. Maybe they increase your uh, beta blocker medication, all right? And that is treating the proximal cause, high blood pressure. Okay, let's take it down with medication. No. What's the general cause? Obesity. You got too fat. Why? Too much sugar, too much insulin. So that's actually what needs to be addressed, not with medication. Um, I'll tell you one more thing. When you cut sugar and you increase your healthy fats and protein, it requires a large amount of water to actually metabolize uh, sugar. So people very often become bloated on these high carb diets. And as soon as you go off carbs, you pee a lot. Okay, you lose a lot of water. And some folk get headaches, like a friend of mine this morning sent me a message saying he's getting a headache. So what do you do? All you have to do is replace your uh, electrolytes. So something like bone broth or a bit of water mixed with some apple cider vinegar with some Himalayan sea salt, that does the trick. Okay, but you do lose a lot of water by cutting carbs. And what does that do? Decreases your blood pressure. Okay. So one more thing. Just remember the brain runs on glucose. It can run on ketones as well, but glucose. So the brain also becomes insulin resistant. Okay. So if you've got raised levels of insulin, the brain is resistant, the receptors to the insulin. Okay. Eventually, just like the fat mass that can't be supported with a circulatory blood supply, your brain cells cannot be supported with the energy they need to function. So neurons start to die. That's how you get Alzheimer's. And it's beautiful. There is documented scientific evidence of uh, sufferers of Alzheimer's going on high fat diets. And I'm talking good fats, coconut oil, avocados, nuts and seeds. And all of a sudden, someone gets their husband back or their wife back or their dad or their mom. It's fantastic. And it's not through medication. Okay. Let medicine, medicine be thy food and food be thy medicine. Socrates, remember that. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. And uh, we'll be going into some other things soon. Cheers.